Hello, crafters. Happy Tuesday. Let me pull up my video over here and share with the group. How are you guys doing tonight? How's your Tuesday been going? Let's see if I can share this. Let's see. My dogs are very mouthy tonight, so I'm sorry. You're probably going to hear them in the background. <laughs> Hi, Donna. Welcome. Happy Tuesday. Share to a group. All right. All right, so I went ahead and shared that. So how are you guys doing today? Was your day good? The weather was pretty good. Um, they said it was supposed to be rainy and stormy, but it ended up being a pretty nice day. If we could just get rid of all the mosquitoes, that would be wonderful. Um, but I have a super cute 3D project tonight. It's really, really easy. Um, it literally if you don't want to hi carrie welcome hello thanks for joining i'm so excited um so it's super easy it literally takes five minutes unless you want to do extras to it so um and i will be highlighting a couple of things that yeah the, the mosquitoes are terrible oh my gosh hi amy um hi danielle the, um, so there's a couple of things that I have done in the past that you guys probably remember me doing, um, uh, a couple of little techniques and stuff. Hi, Tina. Oh my gosh. So many of you are here tonight. So I'm going to show you guys the craft in a minute and, um, we'll get started on that. It's super cute. I just want to remind you guys about celebration. You guys know celebration is about to end in a couple of weeks so get your free items get your goodies get what you need to get um here there we go there's so many awesome awesome free items that stampin up is giving away and i think you know we've i've talked about it several times and i know um you guys have mentioned how much you just love that stampin up has done this um, twice this year because usually it's just in the spring that they do the celebration stuff so and this month I am not doing my card classes because I thought I would give you guys more gifts this month because of celebration so if you guys shop with me um, on my shop you use the current host code which I'll go ahead and show you guys in a minute and I'll link it in the video if you guys um, no no he's not a little little boy <laughs> at all um he's about the size i call him our mini horse his name's dakota and um amy had said that he's not a little boy in the background he is a size of a mini horse i say he comes up to my you know well i'm short anyways but he comes up past my up to my chest i want to say with his nose and everything he's a lab lab uh retriever mix and he's a big goofball and he's just funny but they're they're very vocal tonight i don't know what their deal is i don't know if they're expecting company we're not having company tonight so i don't know why they're so mouthy today maybe it was because i was gone most of the day so but anyways um back to crafting i could talk about my dogs all night so the card class i have every um two weeks I usually do them but this month I'm I'm doing a gift a special present so whenever you guys order from me any size order you use the current host code that I will show you guys in link in the video you'll get a free gift from me and if you spend $150 or more don't use my code you'll get your own rewards and I will also give you the gift plus um, you guys will pick out a free stamp pad classic ink Stampin' Up! Classic Stampin' Pad. Um, your choice, whatever color you want. I will message you, tell you you qualify, give me the, the color that you want. I'll order it and then ship it out to you. So that's what I'm doing this month. I'm going to go back to my card classes in October. Um, I'm hoping I have enough time now to kind of get ahead of them. And I do plan on doing a Christmas tag class coming up um, in the next couple of months. Well, 
probably in November sometime. Maybe it'll be my first class in November. We'll do Christmas tags. So I think that one will be fun. I'm trying to work all the details out on that. So, um, but I'm going to go ahead and flip you guys down so you guys can see. Let's see. Let me see if I can flip you guys upside down here. So there's the host code that I was talking about. Um, if you're not in a party and you're not um, shopping through a party, then you would use this host code. This is good through the end of September. And like I said, this is the one that will get you guys your um, free gifts and your special free gift from me this month. So let me pull in. Well, actually, let me show you guys. Let's see. Are you guys? Yes. Let me show you guys, if you guys can guess what this is. I think you guys all can guess what this is. Um, we did good. I don't know if we did good, but we really hoarded these the last year, year and a half. Um, this is what we're using to make our craft. So you could also use paper towel, um, the empty paper towel containers. You know, this is a toilet roll, empty toilet roll container, or, you know, what the toilet was on, the toilet paper was on. Um, so save these if you want. I always try to think of different things you can do. This is an older craft, but this is super cute, this craft. So easy, and I thought, what a great idea for Halloween. You could make them and hand them out to the kids that come to the door, or you can make them for special, special people. Let me show you what I'm talking about when I say make them. <clears throat> So this is the toilet paper tube. Isn't that super, super cute? So I did a couple of ways with, like this one here, I cut the paper and I measured it a little too close so you can see the toilet paper roll. Um, so I wasn't crazy about that. Then this one I cut a little longer, but I still was not crazy about this. So to make life easier, the paper, let me pull out the paper here. It's six by six paper. It's super cute for Halloween. I cannot for the life of me remember the name of this paper. Anybody can help me, that would be awesome. Um, I just, it's not coming to me. But this paper is so, so cute. It's perfect for Halloween, like I said. It's six by six paper. You have all these awesome designs. And then of course, Stampin' Up! always gives us some Oh, wait, here's the cheater paper here. Cute Halloween, that's what it's called. Cute Halloween 6x6 six six designer series paper. So you have the black and white on the back. So much fun. And then, like I said, the this side here. So I just took, on my last one that I did, I took just one 6x6 six six sheet of paper. No cutting, no nothing. And I made, this is the one I'm going to make tonight. So these literally took me five minutes, if that, to, to get them all together. Um, I think the most time-consuming part was, was um, doing the stamping and tying the ribbon around it. So these are so much fun to do. Yeah, right, reuse. I try to think of things to reuse. And, I, of course, I didn't come up with this, but I like to go in and Google. And I've done this craft before. So think about birthdays, think about Christmas, um, special little gifts. I mean, you don't have to do it for Halloween. I know not everybody is a Halloween person, um, but I, I thought they were adorable too, Diane. They're super cute, super easy. We all have these tubes around the house. So let me go ahead and show you guys how I actually um, applied this paper. The six by six, oh, I don't think I showed you. This is the one we're working on. So isn't this one so cute? This one's a little bit more detailed. It took me a little bit longer. Um, mostly the spider web took a long time. Probably that took the longest, and I'll show you why. It's one of my older techniques that I have done in the past. Here is what I like about this is, let's see, I think it's this one. One of these I glued. I don't think there's a necessity to glue it. Um, I just wanted to try it and see how it looked glued. But you really don't need to glue this. You just unpop them out. And then look, you got your little candy in there. You can put, um, you know, whatever kind of candy you want in there. But I did the 6x6 six six and I like how the edges just look that much more finished. 
So, <laughs> Diane, you need the paper now? Yeah, don't. It's super cute. I love it. You have to get the paper. It's so cute. Um, so I like how the six by six, like I said, kind of finishes it. And, and then it's easy to close. And they don't, I mean, it doesn't come open. Like it's really, you really have to shake it. And I'm really shaking it and it's not coming open. So anyways, I don't want to make you guys seasick. But um, so what I did was I took a piece of Stampin' Seal Plus. You could do the liquid glue. I just found this was the fastest, easiest. Um, I didn't use the... I guess you could use the stamp and seal because we're going to finish it off with um, liquid glue if I could ever get this started. There we go. Oh, now it's ripping. I didn't have this trouble off of camera. Let's see if we can do it again. Yeah, that's the only tricky part with this is it's super sticky, so it can rip your paper if you're not careful. Careful. <laughs> So I just did a line of that on the toilet paper tube. And then this guy here. So you can decide, do you want your design going this way? Or do you want the design going this way? I like it this way. So I'm just going to kind of put this on here as straight as I can. And then you have it um, over the edges here. So see, it's not... So now when you roll it, just roll it. And then what I did was I took and I put some more of, I'm gonna use the stamp and seal. You could use this too, you don't need, I guess you really don't need the plus because I'm gonna use the liquid glue. If you're not gonna use the liquid glue, then um, I would definitely only use the stamp and seal. It's a little tricky to get this on because it's a rounded surface. So I'm just gonna try to apply it. There we go. I'll just apply it on the edge here. And then I'll bring this in and then just try to get it straight as possible. Try to line your edges up and get them straight, just like that. So now you can see it's kind of, it's not glued down. This is where the liquid glue comes in handy. So I don't know what's all over my tip of my liquid glue, but I'm just going to put a little bit of the glue in here. You don't want to go too heavy with this because little goes a long way and you don't want to squeeze out. So I'll just put that there and then I'll kind of just pinch it a little bit. Just kind of make sure it sticks. So it only takes, I don't know, less than a minute, maybe a minute for that glue to really tack down. Now you can wait if you wanted to and do your... Um, I think that's what we'll do. We'll let that dry before we bend it and fold it. So here I have this spider web. So let me pull out the stamp set. I haven't even showed you the stamp set we're using. Frightfully cute. It's so stinking cute. It's got all these um, great Halloween images here and they're small. And then these awesome sentiments in here. You've got a to and a from. And then this does coordinate with some dyes. So I love, love, love this spider web. So I cut that spider web out of basic black. She just scared me. I cut that out of basic black and it's just plain basic black paper. Look at this cute little fence. Oh my gosh, there's so many cute things, a cute little tree. So I just really started playing with this um, just a couple days ago. So um, hopefully I'll get some more cute ideas for you guys. So we are, so like I said, I cut that out. I also, this is great for these sentiments here. There's a couple missing here. This is what we're going to use. Happy Halloween to you. And then there's a spider that I'm going to use. Those are the two that are missing. So this actually cuts beautifully around those two sentiments. And then you have this, which is stitched shape, which is right here. That cuts that out. So... 
and then you have this little tag too and then the little witch's hat so so many cute things for halloween so let's go ahead and what do i want to do first let's do our stamping first before we get to the messy part um actually let's do the messy part first i can't decide what i want to do first Okay, so this guy here, I'm going to show you guys a trick. So this spider web, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it's pretty, um, it's like an embellishment. So in order to create that, you can do this with any of your die cuts that you want. Um, I just take the Versamark ink. Let me get a scrap piece of paper. And then this guy here, all I'm going to do, now this is a little messy, so you might want a um, baby wipe on hand to wipe off your hand. So I'm just going to take this and dip this into my Versamark ink, get it nice and inky. And then we're going to put that down. I've got my wipe right here. I'm going to wipe off my fingers. We're going to do this uh, another time too, So, but I'm just going to set that aside so I don't get my emboss powder in there. So this is black stamping emboss powder. You can get a combo pack. There's three of them in there, um, black, clear, and white. So I'm just going to shake this all over here. And then I have a little pair of tweezers. I use tweezers a lot in my craft area. So I'm just going to pull this out carefully. And then I'm going to set this to the side. And then I'm going to put this away because I'm a messy, messy crafter. And knowing me, I'll throw it all over the floor. You need... Yeah, you need the stamp set and dies too, Diane. <laughs> sorry. Not sorry. Um, it's really cute, especially if you have little ones or you're, you know, you have grandkids. It's really, really cute. So I'm going to bring in the heat tool. This heat tool, you want to let it heat up first before you apply it to your um, embossed item. I'm going to set it to number two. It's going to be a little loud. So I'm just letting it heat up for... I don't know, 30 seconds or so. And then I'm just going to go ahead and heat emboss this. And you know what I did? You can use your take a pick tool or your tweezers. And you want to just hold it in case it decides to fly off the paper. You could do this with your punches too. You have punches, you know, a heart punch or tree punch. You can punch out the items and then you can do this. So I'm going to go ahead and just let it cool a little bit. And then I'm just going to do the same process. I'm going to go and do this. I found for the spider web, for me, I was happy with doing this twice. Bring in that scrap sheet of paper. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get your emboss powder on here. This is such a neat way to create embellishments. So I, I'm just going to do this twice. Like I said, I felt twice was enough. So let's bring this back over. So we're going to heat this up again. And where's the heat tool? So your heat tool is nice and warm. I don't need to warm it up. I don't know if you guys can tell, but you can already see a difference 
in this spider web. And just be careful when you're working with the heat embossed powders um, not to get it on you because it can burn you. Let it cool down first. Let's see. So I don't know if you guys can see the shine to that, but this is really awesome. And it looks like an embellishment that Stampin' Up! was selling. Um, like I said, you can do this with pretty much any of your dies, your punches, get creative with it. So super cute. So that's all done. Um, let's get this cleaned up here. So let's bring this guy back in. Um, what do we want to do on here? Let's fold it now because the glue is all nice and, and folded. Yeah, we're going to fold it. So what I did, where's my scissors, paper snips. So I got my, um, scissors, my paper snips, and I just cut two all the way down to the base of here, if you guys can see this. I'm not, it doesn't have to be perfect, kind of across from each other. And then you're going to do that on this end too. And you don't have to line them up with the other side. Just snip, snip down to the base. And then you're just going to fold that paper right over. Don't even need any glue or tape or anything. And then the same thing here. So again, I just love the um, finished look that that gives you. So there's your toilet paper tube. So now it's just a matter of kind of bending with your, I take my two thumbs and kind of bend it in on one side and then you do the same thing on the other side. And then, so now you have your little tube. You can fill it with whatever you want. Grab my candies. Put a couple of little candy bars in there. And then we're gonna do the same thing. Like I said, two thumbs. And then your two thumbs here. So there it is. See how easy that was? So it took us longer to emboss this little spider web. So now there's your little box. So on here, let me bring in my two stamps. So I wanted a spider. Now he's hard to see, but I have a little spider on here. I wanted a spider on the box, but I didn't want the long stem there. So this is an old trick. You could cut your stamps. Um, I don't like to cut my stamps. I don't know. I'm just, I just don't like to cut my stamps. Um, so what I'll do is I'll take a piece of scotch tape and you put your tape on so it's covering this line here because I don't want that line there. So now if I can find my memento, aha. So here's our memento ink. And you can do this with any of your stamps you have. If, you know, you don't want something stamped, you could do it with a post-it note, too. You don't need the tape. Um, post-it note, note will work, too. You ink this up, and then you're going to get ink on the tape. I just take the tape off. You can throw that tape away or use it on something. And then I'm going to take the spider. So now my little spider is not that full string or the full web is not on there. I'm just gonna stamp this down on the bottom here. So isn't that cute? I mean, it's not really cute because it's a spider, but this spider is cute because it's, it's a stamped one. That's my only kind of spider I like. So then our little tag that we cut out earlier, well, I cut it out earlier, in the um, die kit here. Is that the right one? Yeah. <laughs> so in here, this little tag, I've got the Happy Halloween to you. Yeah, spiders, ew, I don't like spiders at all. Leave me alone and I'll leave you alone. Let's 
then this will be stamped right here. I'm gonna try to do it without getting my head in the camera. I'm trying to get it straight. I don't think it's on there. Oh, I didn't do too bad. So you can stamp that on there, or you can stamp it on a piece of uh, Whisper White, basic white, and um, cut it out then. You don't have to, you know, it's, it's a lot easier to stamp it and then do the die cutting. But I just did the die cutting to save time. So then all I did was I took my little spider web here, my little embossed spider web. And there are in the annual catalog, there are black um, Stampin' Dimensionals. It's a combo kit and you get 200 regular sized um, black Stampin' Dimensionals. Which, let me see. So the regular size one and you get 480 of these mini ones. So I'm going to use one of the mini ones. You could use the white ones if you have them. I have the black ones. And the spider web is black. I just thought it would be appropriate. So let me get my take a pick tool. I am having trouble getting that off. Let me bend that down. Sometimes these backings give me such a hard time. Okay, there we go. Get that back off. And then this will go maybe down a little. Well, I think it's going to be stuck there. There we go. There, yeah, right there. That's perfect. So there's your little spider web. There's your little spider. And then all I did, I did use Stampin' Seal on this. Um, Stampin' Seal Plus, actually, just because I wanted to make sure to it stays and I'm only going to put adhesive on about half of it. I'm going to put adhesive on the happy, happy Halloween part. And then I'm going to stick this right about there, I guess. So super cute, pretty easy to do. So yeah, they do have the, um, black Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. I don't, I um, I do use them quite a bit. I just, I don't think I use them much in my videos, but so there's that. Isn't that so cute? And look how easy that was. So here's a couple of them. And like I said, I mean, it's just how creative you want to get with them. Um, will, you know, will be how much time you want to put into them. And I love that I can just use one sheet one sheet and be done you don't have to worry about cutting or anything so I thought that would be a good craft for you guys and I know I've done them before in the past um but I think it's been a while since I've done the toilet paper tubes and you don't have to stuff stuff candy in them you can stuff whatever I'm gonna flip you guys upside down and turn you guys up so like I said, you don't have to just put candy in them. You can put whatever you want in them. So they're really cute and easy to do. And who, I mean, you have toilet paper tubes or paper towel tubes all over the place. And I hope, you know, you have enough time to save them. Um, but, I mean, you can give them out to every trick-or-treater if you want to or just your special ones. So that that is that tonight i hope you guys enjoyed this i try to kind of mix it up with cards sometimes and 3d crafts other times so i i'm so happy you guys join me tonight and um get shopping get shopping get shopping you guys got two more weeks left before all the freebies go away and i think that's about it guys thank you so much for being here thank you guys for joining me tonight and I hope you guys really did like that. Um, yeah, yeah, it's great when you go ahead and you, you know, take the stuff that you end up throwing away or it goes in, you know, recycles or whatever that you can up use that and recycle it and pass it along and stuff. So I love being able to do that with different things. So, um, yeah, the, the, oh, thank you, Danielle. The witch is so cute on there i love that little witch on there and i love the size of everything they're so small they're not real small but they're small enough 
So I really like that stamp set. It's a really cute set. So, all right, guys, I will see you guys next Tuesday. Um, same time, same place. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. And I will talk to you guys um, next week. Have a great week. Thanks, guys. Bye.